Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. I am the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And the title of this, this lesson will be Trust the Process. Trust the process of the Lord. Or trust the process of the Lord. You know, the process. Uh, let me look that up. Process. Process meaning. Here's the definition of process. A series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. Yeah, a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. Process. What are the steps? The series of actions and steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. The process. The Lord has a process. And, you know, sometimes things go smooth and then things are rough. But when it's rough, it's when we're tested. All right? It's to make us stronger, to build our faith in the Lord. So by trusting the process through trouble makes your faith stronger. You know, Esau can't take this faith away from us. Now he can close our videos up from off his platform, you know, shut the brothers up, delete our videos or case, but he can't take our faith away from us. You know, this is why ultimately he wants to do what? Put that MOB in us, that Karax, Karakma, all right? He wants to put technology in our bodies because he wants to be as though he's the most high. He wants to sit in the temple of the most high. You know, he wants to manually control us individually at his will. All right. As if he's the most high. So process. I'm going to read it one more time. A series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. So trust the process of the Lord. All right. So I'm going to read the scripture. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. It says, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. So who's going to understand the truth? Lord's elect. In our case, we say hopeful elect because we're, 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 we're striving to be the elect. So the hopeful elect is going to understand the truth. You know, scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. The ones that are chosen actually trust in the Lord. Okay. And that's what we want to be. The ones that's chosen, trusting in the Lord all the way to the end. So they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. You know, uh, the apostles, they go over the topics that they call, uh, they call from time to time to make nasties of the scriptures, you know, and those are topics where it's controversial and it makes people mad, you know, upsets people, you know, it could put a stigma on you. Now you look, you looked at as this group. So it says they that trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. So it says, and such as be faithful in love shall abide in him, and shall abide with him. So it's all about being faithful and that love. You know, this is a, a labor of love. You know, brothers wake up every day. Uh, our minds are on the Lord. You know, putting forth the work, doing the shows, constantly watching. So it's a labor of love and it's passion. You know, it's not something that's dreadful. It's actually something you, you turn into your profession, something you love to do. You know, if you're not doing it, you feel sick. You don't feel like yourself, you know. And we gel off each other. Brothers do shows. You know, I learn, we learn, we all learn off each other. All right, because really we're one body in Yahweh Shai. Okay, so hopefully this lesson is uh, motiv motivating and inspiration, you know, to inspire brothers, you know, continuing the faith, man, the labor of love. It says, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints. That's key. Grace 
and mercy. When the troubles come of Jacob, Jacob's trouble, you're going to be looking for grace and mercy. Those two words, grace and mercy, man. And who's going to receive that grace and mercy? The Lord's elect. Because why? They put their trust in him. All right. They understood the truth. They were faithful in love and they abided with him through, through, through the, the, uh, the good and bad. All right. When they wasn't so troubled, everything was running smooth. They was with the Lord. And even when things got rough. All right. And it seemed like they was counted out. They were still with the Lord. That's the Lord's elect, man. It says, for grace and mercy is to his saints, which saints are Israelites. And then it says, and he have care for his elect, which is his elect, is uh, that chosen, that's within the chosen. That, uh, uh, what scriptures say, the portion of Jacob is not like them, meaning, yeah, they have Jacob, but they're not like the rest of Israel. They were made different. They special. The Heavenly Father, okay, he put... His, his stamp on them on, on those elect those men he made them his all right going back into the cluster of great all right um you know i'm gonna leave it at that i'll make it quick i did have other precepts here i had a bunch of them matter of fact i'll I read i'll read uh I'm, I'm gonna read two two more you know just want to make it edifying and uh to the point trust the process so the scripture i had was uh proverbs he uh it's a lucky okay proverbs let's go into the book of proverbs chapter three verse five trust in the trust in yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding so we have to trust in the lord with all thy heart which the word heart it's talking about your mind, which the Hebrew word there is lob. Not talking about the, the muscle that pumps blood inside your chest. It's talking about your mind. It says, and lean not unto your own understanding. You know, because you could be simple and lean unto your own understanding according to how you feel. But it ain't about us. It's about Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai and his will. So it's not according to how we feel. It's according to your how about Shimmy how Shah's will. So don't lean into your understanding. Now, how do you don't do that? You search the scriptures. Okay, there's a particular situation. You search the scriptures. All right. Uh, if if that's the case, you still bother, you can't find, you ask a brother. Scriptures say, uh, seek counsel, seek advice, you know, to so that you make sure that you know the decision you make is uh is in it's in the right order, you know. And that's why we have uh, uh, big brothers in this truth. We have men that that came before us. You know, scriptures say how we um, we fall into other men's labors. You know, it's been men laboring before you. You know, so you have to give that respect and honor to those men. They deserve it, man. Right? If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't know it. Okay? So it's all about being sincere, man. Okay? So trust in Yahweh with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own thy own understanding. So let's get the next precept. Psalms 37 and 4. This is in the book of Psalms 37 and verse 4. It says, Delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto Yahweh. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So it's all about trusting in the process of the Lord, man. That's why the Lord always brought this out. This trust, believing, hope, you know, may not, uh, matter of fact, to prove, to, oh man, um, uh, I'm going to come back, Psalms 37. Let me go into the book of Hebrews because, uh, let's see here, so I can, Hebrews 11. And one, it says Hebrews 11 and one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Ooh, because what we believe is not fit, it's not uh, physical to see, but we can see it with our spiritual eye. All right. You know, we understand that the reality of righteousness is true. 
on a common sense level because look at the world today is ran in wickedness. So imagine what righteousness will look like. We get that imagination and inspired by the Lord by, by filling us up with this gas because we're the tank and he's the gas and he fills our tank up with his word. He give us our thoughts and our imagination so that we can have desire and hope on the Lord for the kingdom, for that perfect body to live in righteousness and harmony, man. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we have evidence, but it's not seen. Okay? And that's that's special because the Lord puts something in, in the elect's mind to see it. But for the rest of the two-thirds of the Lord's people, he blinded them, man. You know? That's 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 deep, you know. Only only the highest could do such a thing, man. Someone who governs the world with the palm of his hand. Someone who uh is the power in the physical and also invisible. You know, the Lord is like the invisible power that 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 does everything. Okay? It's amazing, man. All praises to Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. So um there's another one I want to get to come in mind. Uh, let's see here. Bear with me. Um, yeah, right. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and 18. Matter of fact, Y'all yeah, just get to the point. Verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay? That's deep, man. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Because the world can't see what we see. The Lord ain't give them the Rakakwadash. The Holy Spirit, Spirit Holy, okay? For the things which are seen are temporal, which is the fashion of this world, Esau ruling, all right? All his policies and laws put in place. But the things which are not seen are eternal, all right? Because the kingdom. So, okay, just jumping back to uh, that book of Psalms 37. Psalms 37 and 4. Delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto Yahweh, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Mm. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as, as the noonday. Alright, so let's move on. Let's see what Romans 8.28 got. Romans 8. And 28 it says um, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh to them who are called according to his purpose yep that's the elect because they trust in the Lord let's see if I can get another one Psalms 9 and 10 let's see what that say uh, it's the book of Psalms chapter 9 and verse 10 it says and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. So yeah, okay. That's another reason uh, how the elect trust in the Lord. Because they got the name. The name is key. Yahweh is the father. And the son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim means in the name. So what you're saying is the father in the name of the son, Yahweh Shai. And they are two different entities. They're not the same entity, but they're on one accord. All right? And we're looking to be on one accord with that power. This is why we're, we're fighting and striving, you know, for the kingdom. You know, this uh, good, this labor of love. Okay? So, uh, let me read it again. And they that know thou name will put their trust in thee. So we have to trust the process. He gives us the name, okay? That name is an anchor. That name is a, 
is that hope. The name is that key. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. So having the name of the Lord seals our trust. It keeps our trust in the Lord. All right. For thou, Lord, Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. All right. So I'll give one more. Let's see. Okay. This is in the book of Proverbs again. Proverbs 3 and uh, 6. In all thou ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. All right. And that's basically the point. You know, Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. Um, you know, we have to trust in the process of the Lord and, uh, trusting in that process. The Lord gave us, he gave us the insight. He gave us the, uh, heads up, you know, the scriptures say he do nothing but reveal his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. So we already know what's coming down the pipe, you know, knowing before what's going to happen gives us a, an advantage, you know, so we have to take full advantage of, of what the Lord have given us and that's his word you know uh, scriptures say uh, uh, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and he hideth himself where did he hide himself at in the scriptures so now hey be sincere and hide in these scriptures man okay and endure in that to the end so hopefully I hope this lesson was edifying trust the process of the Lord alright and I looked up that word process as well let me grab it one more time the word process, all right, is uh, a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.